So, here in our diagram as you can see the first thing we have connected the ground pin to the negative rail of our breadboard and the 5 volt pin to our positive rail of the breadboard and we have connected our potentiometer negative and positive pin accordingly and the wiper pin or the middle pin of the uh, potentiometer is connected to the pin number 2 in our SP32 and for the LED what we have done is we have connected a 330 ohm resistor to the positive side of our LED and we have connected that side to the pin number 23 as an input and we have connected the negative side to the negative rail or the ground rail of our breadboard. So, now let us go to our Arduino ID and see how to program our ESP32. So, this is our circuit. So, what we have done? The first thing is we have connected our ground pin of the ESP to the ground rail of our breadboard and the 5 volt pin to our positive rail of the breadboard and we have connected our potentiometer such to the negative and to the positive rail. The potentiometer wiper is connected to pin number 2 here as you can see this is also an ADC pin here it is connected to pin number 2 and for LED input we have connected our LED to a 330 ohm resistor and to and it is connected to the positive side of our LED and this white wire or the LED's input is connected to pin number 23. So, now we are in our Arduino ID. The first thing as well as we need to define our pins. So, for the LED we are using the pin number 23 and for the potentiometer we are using the pin, pin number 2. So, we write constant LED pin is equal to 23 and constant pot pin to pin number 2. Then to define our PWM properties we write constant or frequency is equal to 5000 and then the LED channel constant LED channel is 0 and the resolution is 12. So, we write constant resolution is equal to 12. So, now we need to set up our PWM to control the LED. So, to do that we need to write LED C setup, then we need to write or we need to give all our properties in this parenthesis. First is LED channel which is 0 and the frequency which is 5000 and the resolution which we have set to 12. Then with this our LED our PWM is set to control the LED. Then we need to connect our LED pin to the LED channel. So, our LED pin is 23 and our LED channel is 0. So, we need to connect this two. To do that we have to write LED C attach pin here the at A is capital letter and then we write LED pin first then we write LED channel. And in our void loop we need to first read the potentiometer value to do that we write analog read potential pot pin and then we need to save this value somewhere so we have defined another variable integer value then we need to control the brightness of our led using this value so to do that we write led c write the w is capital then led channel which is we have defined here as 0 and then we need to also include the value of our potentiometer here. Thus we can now control our LED brightness, LED's brightness through the potentiometer and we give a delay of 15 milliseconds so that the there is a smooth animation and now if I upload this to my to my USB 32 we can see how it works. So, after the our program is uploaded to our, our ESP32, we can go ahead and use this 
knob to control the LED brightness. So if I turn the L knob, you can see it's turning on. Now it is very dim because of the 330 ohm resistor. Now if I remove this and connect this directly to a LED, you will see that the LED is now much more brighter than before. But if we don't use this resistor, the LED will be damaged or it might get damaged. So it's better to use the resistor. So thank you everyone. If this video is helpful to you, please hit the like button and subscribe for more videos like this.